For the sake of all of us, and for the sake of our country, I know that you join me in wishing this expedition well. It is now 30 seconds to zero time. Put on goggles or turn away. Do not remove goggles or face burst until 10 seconds after the first light. Cloud is still rising. 70,000 feet now, the last estimate I heard is true. And up there at this moment at about 45,000 are the sampler aircraft. F-84Gs, manned jet fighters, are being used exclusively on this operation. Experience has proven that manned aircraft are just as efficient and much less costly to put in the air than our drones for sample collecting. Jets were selected because they can operate at high altitude. Since the force of Mike shot has pushed the cloud up to around 100,000 feet, it is necessary to get aircraft up high enough to get reliable samples. Even at that, they're scraping the bottom of the barrel, so to speak. Some 14 F-84Gs are being used at staggered intervals to get a good cross-section of the cloud at different times. The jets, which are based on Kwajalein, also have the speed necessary to make them good sample-collecting machines. For the relatively short length of time the pilot is in the area, he gets a good sample per rate of contamination. One of the disadvantages of using jet fighters is their range. To handle this problem, KB-29 tankers flying gas trucks are in the air to refuel the jets on the way back from their sampling mission. The jets are also short on overwater navigation aids. Charlie 1, this is Red Leader. Request steer to dog 2. Over. Red Leader, this is Charlie 1, steer 310. A B-29 control aircraft gives the samplers headings and rendezvous points and generally orientates them in this remote region of the Pacific. The control aircraft is fully equipped with radar and communications and in essence performs all the functions normally thought of as being controlled from a ground air operations center. A B-36 is also in the air as another kind of control ship, like a football coach running the game from the sidelines. A scientific controller watches the formation of the cloud 
and directs the samplers in for their runs. When a sampler aircraft has obtained its allotment of contamination, it has done its job and returns to quad.